One of the things that I've seen happens quite a bit in the graphic design industry and in all industries is people segregate their work from their own personal values. And a lot of the time people seem to accept that that's just the way things work and they don't question it and fight against it. So what I try to do with Rocket Day is to essentially bring my personal values and my client work completely in alignment. I'm Emrys Miller, creative director and owner of Rocket Day Arts, and this is Designed to Speak. I have been conducting a experiment in a way with this company to see if I can, in an uncompromised way, try to address some of the world's problems. What I want us to do is to look at the whole planet and say, okay, well, what, what is it going to mean to the health of humanity and the whole ecosystem? Is this something that's actually doing more damage than good for this product to exist and for more people to buy it? I think potentially even more important is what is the message that's on there? And how is that affecting culture? We've learned design thinking. We should try to figure out how can we come up with simple and elegant solutions where we're not doing harm and then trying to make up for it. We're learning how to do the work, but we aren't learning why and what we should do. I've now been working for universities, for arts organizations that are putting on events rather than making products. You know, I can promote universities and I don't really see any significant negative things that are part of that package. I can just give myself completely to these projects and it'll feel in alignment with my personal values and what I think is better for the world. I originally thought I would have to take a massive financial hit in order to do work that I was really proud of, but it's been quite the opposite. I mean, universities, government, research bodies, a lot of them have really significant budgets. The First Things First manifesto, the original version of it, it was a declaration of the previous generation of graphic designers that really resonated with me and kind of influenced me to go on this journey. Should we stop acting as individuals that our greatest contribution to the world is to make ourselves happy, which is the Joseph Campbell follow your bliss, which I also believe in, by the way. But do we need to also marry that with global citizen responsibility. We're setting the tone of the culture a lot of the time. And I don't think we're doing it with enough consciousness. Find work that you really believe in, that you believe is contributing to the world in a positive way. It also gets rid of this idea that you need to give back to your community or to society 10% of the time because you'll eventually feel like you've been a, a positive contributor 100% of the time. 